Hello everyone, my name is Isabel and I am your host today and we are going for our first live guest interview with Anastasia Boot, who is going to talk to us today about the importance and impact of color and style on our life, on our goals, and on our objectives. So, we're going to be waiting for everyone to join in, and we are waiting for Anastasia as well. So, while we're waiting, what I'd like you all to do is just type in a little hello so I can see that you are there. And um, as soon as I see Anastasia logged on, I'm going to reach out to her and invite her. So we're still waiting a little bit. I see that someone has joined, but I do not see who it is for the moment. So I'm very, very excited. Hello, Carol. Ah, there you are, Anastasia. I'm so happy that you're there. I sent you, hi, Carol. I sent you an invitation, uh, Anastasia, so you should be able to see that right now. Let me see. Um, hold on, let me see correctly. I'm going to invite you right away before even giving some added information on you. I just want to make sure that we get her and look at that. She Hello. is there. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. I'm pretty sure everyone else can hear you as well. Carol, can you hear Anastasia very well? And Sear, just give up, give us a thumbs up or a heart. There we go. Everything is working fine. So I'm so happy and grateful that you decided to join us today. Thank so you very Anastasia, much for inviting me. It is my pleasure. So Anastasia and I met, um, what, about six months ago, right? Six yeah. months, yeah. eight months ago, something like that. We were on a class together, a business class, and we kind of hit it off. And we started meeting up regularly um, with the facility of the internet. And we would exchange goals and help each other out. And I learned that Anastasia is wonderful when it comes to color and style and she really knows what she's talking about. So I was really excited when you decided to accept my offer and say, sure, I'll come on and talk a little bit about that. So since you're here, can you give um, a better introduction of yourself and what you do and how you came to do that? Yes, sure. So I'm Anastasia Boot. I, I live in France, so quite, quite in another corner of the world. Uh, yeah, but still we manage to, to have regular meetings, uh, almost weekly meetings with Isabel. So thanks, thanks to internet. So I live in France, but I moved here from Ukraine. I have Ukrainian origins. And uh, when I came here, I was a little bit torn apart because uh, a new country and everyone who migrated to another country knows this. And uh, I also had a new profession. I became a buyer in the autom automotive industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was quite exciting. But uh, when I got pregnant with my second child, I actually uh, decided that it was time to do something that I was passionate, passionate about. And uh, to bring uh, benefit to people and to, to, serve, uh, to serve people. Uh, that's why I did uh, um, some training for, um, to become a personal stylist and image consultant. I love it. I that's love why, it. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Awesome. So what I do, I actually, I work with uh, private clients on their image. Okay. Uh, we develop, we try to get to the core of actually what they really want in their mini image, what they want to reflect. And they're working on the coherence of their image and uh, what they really are inside. So we're working on style, we're working on their colors, uh, we are working on their hair, hairstyle, makeup, so everything that uh, comes uh, with image. Gestures also, yeah, so 
It's really amazing. And I remember when we worked together, um, you had asked me some specific objectives that I had, and you suggested colors and styles and even fonts. If we have like a website and we want to work with that, you even gave suggestions on that. So um, all the colors and everything around us has a huge impact, doesn't it? Yeah, so now the thing with you, we worked uh, more on personal branding. Yes. So personal branding is hugely important for people who have businesses and for coaches and entrepreneurs. Uh, yeah, but also our image is important for everyone, not only people. We are all constantly in contact with other people, so everyone, uh, uh, for everyone the image is important. And uh, I'm sure that everyone of you might think of those people uh, who, uh, who seem to attract everyone's, everyone's attention as soon as they enter the room, even mm -hmm. without something. I'm sure that everyone knows uh, people like this. And uh, that's the power of the image, actually. We know that 38% yes. uh, uh, of uh, our communication goes through how we look, through our gestures and facial uh, expressions. So, and only 7% uh, these are actually the words that we are saying. Yes. So yes. of course, the, the words are also important, but we very often we neglect actually how we look and uh, yeah, the image that uh, that we present to other people. That's... And sometimes people think that uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> is it... No, 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 no. Go ahead. Uh, sometimes people think that it's not it's not that important that it could be su superficial. Yeah, to to uh, to remark those things and to follow those things, but in reality, uh, actually, uh, this could make uh, us even more connected to to ourselves. Mm, I like that. That's wonderful. All right, so um, I'm I'm not sure. Have you prepared something for our viewers so they could associate with, so they can even um, take a few strategies and apply it right now for their life, all depending, you know, if it's their personal uh, life or maybe their business or family or whatever. Have you prepared a little bit of, of uh, information for them? Yeah, I prepared a short training, okay. so we'll do it right now. Oh, uh, great. Yeah, but before that, I only uh, wanted to say that the thing I'm passionate actually and why I'm doing this, um, this yes. job because I'm passionate about the transformation. That's why I mean, mm. what draws me and uh, this, uh, the situations when people approach me and say, I never thought that I would even dare wear this kind of trousers or this kind of skirt. Oh, I never wore any, <laughs> any bright colors before, and now I know that those are my best colors. So this kind of uh, kind of things is I'm passionate about in my in my profession. Okay. I like I I like that because it's important. We we us as women we work very hard. We have families, we have businesses, we have our own stuff, and we have what God has given us. And sometimes just a little bit of tweaking in the style, in the haircuts, in the colors, will really allow us to connect better with our purpose and who we are as a woman, not just as a mom or as a spouse or as a sister or daughter, but as a woman in our entirety. And it can help ease the transition and help us um, move even faster towards our goals. I love that idea. I'm very excited about this training. <laughs> yeah, great. Thank you very much, Isabel. So uh, today I would like um, to teach you actually two things, two things. Mm -hmm. So the first one, uh, we will talk about our intentions. What do we really want to project? Okay. To other so I would, like to see, uh, I would like you to think about all the qualities, uh, the best qualities that you, that you have. Maybe you are bold, maybe you are strong, maybe you are feminine, maybe you are subtle, uh, maybe you are communicative. So I would like to think about all these qualities. Maybe other people 
always tell you tell you all the times that you are so inventive, etc. So think maybe you have some hints from what other people are saying to you, like how they are giving, uh, what kind of compliments they are giving to you. Okay. Uh, so now I would like you to think maybe of other people who whose style you admire. Maybe this is a star, or maybe this is even your neighbor or someone you know at work, and mm -hmm. you admire the, this one thing. Just uh, think about one thing that you admire in this person, and what is it? Maybe this is the style. Maybe this is how the person shows up in the world, so one thing about this person, about, about his ability to interact with, uh, with other people. Okay? Okay, yeah, absolutely. So the people, while they're listening to you, they can jot down that first thing yeah. that you ask them, a quality or qualities that yeah. we like about ourselves. Yeah, and we want to project and we want to show. Because the better we actually show it to other people, the better we communicate to us with other people. Because mm -hmm. as I said, 38% of our communication goes through our image. Okay? So Absolutely. And the second thing you said to do was to find qualities that we admire or love in no. someone else? Yeah. Okay. Just to okay. jot down with the one thing that you love, the style the presentation of another person, the colors, anything that you admire. Uh, okay, uh, so now I would like you to go with and to jot, to note down uh, these three words of your ideal style that you imagine for you. Okay, maybe this is, for example, my three words of my ideal style are uh, feminine, uh, sensual and chic. Okay, so mm -hmm. I know them because <laughs> I go back to to these words almost every day. So the good thing uh, and good advice, yeah, to put them near near your wardrobe, near your clothes, so that every time you dress, uh, you see those words, and uh, every time you look at them at the mirror, you ask yourself, "Am I feminine? Am I chic in this in this attire?" <laughs> Does yes. it add something to my image? Is it what? Uh, is it really what I want, and what I want to show and to share with other people? That's okay. a great idea. Yes. So you can also um, make a put a reminder in your telephone, or whatever. Yeah. But if you really want to to gain something, to achieve, to become maybe more feminine, uh, you want. Uh, to ex more expressive maybe in your in your way of being and in your style uh, yeah that's a good thing to do to to note uh, those three things of your ideal style and put them in the in your telephone okay, okay. perfect okay okay so we got three steps so far yeah uh, okay yeah. So, uh, actually that was the first one the first one to get your intention that's what was intentional. Oh, intentional. Okay. Okay. Oh, that is yeah. so great because we're talking about intentions this month in our group and the importance yeah. of them. Yeah. Awesome. That's also they are also very important for your image. So you can include <laughs> image yes. intention in, in your list. Okay. So the first thing we do is we set three intentions. We keep a note close by and we review it every day to make sure we're always in line yeah. with who we intention. want to be. Exactly. Okay. 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 So, and the second thing I want to teach you that will considerably improve your image very fast. Uh, the second thing is to define your ideal colors. Okay, yes. Okay. Uh, so with my uh, clients, private clients, uh, we consider three characteristics of the colors. Okay, so the most important color characteristics is uh, the warm or cool skin tone. Yes. So every person has either warm or, or cool skin tone. For example, we yes. have warm skin tone. That's right. Yeah. And very yes. yellow. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, the skin tones 
are very important and you can define yourself okay now we are not able to to define uh, um, uh, best colors of each person but you can define uh, your best colors yourself simply bring uh, all the clothes of all the colors that you have and uh, put the, each each color near your face so in front of okay. your face like this okay and so you look at your reflection in the mirror and see which are the colors that are best for you so the colors are very 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 important because they can make you younger they can make you if they are not good they can make you more tired or older uh, they can um, uh, they can put away um, your dark circles if you have your dark circles they can disappear uh, they can um, make disappear also the red dots or anything uh, in on your skin if your skin is not so even so if they unify <clears throat> Sorry, your complexion. But uh, the colors also have uh, like psychological impact on each person. Mm -hmm. so also unify your personality, <laughs> so to say. Okay. So they are very important. And um, maybe you already know your best colors because maybe other people often give you compliments when you wear those colors. So this yes. could hint that... Uh, uh, those are your best colors, okay? L let me ask you, is it necessarily or not necessarily colors that we're drawn to? Are those usually our best colors, the colors that right away we love or the colors that we really dislike and have disliked for a long time? Would those be the colors that don't fit us very well? Well, it happens very often that the colors uh, to which you are drawn to are actually your best col colors. But it mm -hmm. also happens uh, that colors you are drawn to actually not are uh, actually your worst colors. So in this case, you still could wear them, of course. If uh, you are drawn to this color, of course you can wear them. But not close to your, to your face. Okay. okay. Yes, the color that you put close to your face, they have a huge impact on your complexion. Okay. Yeah, so uh, it's always better to wear your best colors, okay, near your face. But if you're drawn to the color which is not your best color, okay, you can put shoes or accessories or anything which is not close to, to your face. Okay? That, those are great ideas. Okay, thank you. Um, if ladies, if you have any questions for Anastasia, please go right ahead and write those in and we'll be able to address them since we are live. And if ever you have questions and you're catching the replay, go right ahead and write the questions in the comment and you can tag Anastasia or myself and we'll be able to reply to your questions. So go right ahead and enjoy this fully and uh, get your questions all addressed right on the spot if you can. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. So one more thing, just one more thing. Mm -hmm. Now that uh, you know your best colors and you know your three words uh, for your ideal style, it's a, it's a good idea to match them actually. If, for example, your adjective is like feminine, so maybe you would uh, you would make uh, pink your ideal your ideal color because pink you know it's very feminine color and yes. uh, this is a color that could also make you make you look younger. Okay, uh, I'm wearing I... pink today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's yeah, why it's, uh, it's very feminine and mild. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. a good color. I like pink as well. <laughs> yes, so do I. <laughs> okay. Uh, so maybe if you want to show that you're a person of an action, maybe you should choose red as your as your color. So the okay. colors are very also very important in your personal branding. Okay, if you want to be known for your image, I know that uh, a few um, seers. See yours and uh, 
uh, I know also some coaches who use red as their mm -hmm. signature signature color. Yes. Yeah. So this is the color that shows uh, your action, that you are a person of an action. And uh, this color also uh, signifies uh, love. So it could be a great color for romantic uh, rendezvous as well. Yeah. So, yeah, colors have several, uh, several significance. Do you have um, a reference where if someone was looking for um, uh, adjectives, for example, to describe each color, do you have that on your site or do you have a reference where we could find that information? So, for example, red, if I wanted to know for the personal branding or if I want to wear it or something like that, because we also know that red is, is passion and you said action and mm -hmm. it can be color of love. All those adjectives, is there uh, a reference where you could send everyone to? Actually, I'm working on this kind, oh, of, that's great. this kind of image. So for the moment, I cannot send it to you, but as soon as it is ready, uh, I'll post it in the group. That is great. Okay, okay. Keep us posted on that then. Perfect, perfect. Okay. So that was it, ladies. I hope you enjoyed a, a small training. So we defined uh, our intentions about our, our image. Yes. And we defined also our best colors. That yes. Our best. Okay. okay, so let's, let's recap just in case some people are joining us uh, late a little bit. So with Anastasia, what she does, she is a personal stylist and she helps women feel more comfortable with their look in general. And please correct me if I, I'm not saying it exactly. And what we did today is we went through four stages. The first thing that we did was set our intentions using three words that best describe us, right? Yeah, our style. Our ideal style. Our ideal style. So not necessarily something that we're portraying right now. No, but what, what we want, actually. But what we want. Okay, so that's very important. And then you asked us to think of qualities that we already have. So we can jot down uh, adjectives or words or ideas about our qualities that we already have and you also asked us thirdly to name off some qualities of someone we admire or strive to to mirror to portray it could be someone uh, as a mom or it could be a professional um, either way and fourthly you told us about the importance of color the colors that we wear, we want to make sure that we're wearing our best colors. And if ever we're not wearing our best colors right underneath here, we want to wear our best colors. So it gives us the most, um, can I say energy? Energy, yeah, right. Yeah? Energy. Oh. Yeah, colors oh. bring us energy. Yeah. Oh, okay. So is there anything extra that you'd like to tell her our viewers, you'd like to tell the ladies to uh, pay attention to when they're selecting color, either for clothes or hair or their, their website or their, their letters or whatever it may be. I would only like to add uh, that what we wear and our style can actually uh, free us. Because, you know, we all... Um, look at some fancy magazines, beautiful ladies, and mm -hmm. so many styles. And sometimes we could be lost because we want to have all of these styles. Mm -hmm. But they are not us. So uh, before, um, you know, buying something and uh, looking for some styles, we should ask ourselves what is it that we really want and define what I had my clients actually. I had to define uh, there are styles, which is usually a mix of two styles. Okay. okay. So as soon as we decide, uh, then it actually simplifies, simplifies uh, their purchases. And uh, we also uh, cut 
the spending actually because you know uh, almost yes. half of the things that we buy we don't wear them <laughs> <laughs> yeah so my job actually is not to make you buy more but to combine the things that you already have okay and of course if there are things that do not correspond to you please don't leave them in your wardrobe just give them to someone or sell them <laughs> you, know, you do not leave the less, actually the less things that you have in your wardrobe the more simple it becomes to to match them and uh, to feel great and uh, this could bring joy every day that, yes this that's really wonderful so there's absolutely a way of meshing our best colors and our personality yeah give give me one second i just want to read um carol did post a question i don't know if i can see all of it if not i'm just going to Give me one second. I'm just going to open up my iPad and see if I can see all of that. Um, I think she has a question for you. So give me one second here. Let me just head there. All right. Whoops. I can see all of that. Let me just head there. All right. Let's see. All right, so Carol says, um, what I would like to give out as my energy is confidence. Mm -hmm. The three qualities that I would like my style to portray would be feminine, mm -hmm. expressive, comfortable. The three colors that people often tell me look better on me are blue, turquoise, and orange. Is there a color in that list that would portray confidence best? Yeah, for sure. It's a good question. Uh, so the best color ever <laughs> that portrays confidence is blue. So that's why we see very often uh, politics, uh, they wear blue, uh. suits, navy blue suits, because this is the color that portrays it. confidence and trust. Yeah, so if you want someone to trust you, that's a good thing to, to wear, to wear a blue color. Awesome. So that's any kind of blue or mostly dark blue? Because politicians, we often see them in dark blue yeah, suits. Yeah, navy, navy blue, navy blue. But actually, light blue could be okay, uh, fine too. Yeah. Oh, so that's very interesting. So I hope that's helpful for you, Carol. Um, and uh, please go ahead, ladies. If you have more questions, we're going to take advantage of having uh, Anastasia with us right now to answer any of your questions. So you can go ahead and jot that down. Now, uh, who do you work with the most? Do you work with uh, uh, people that want to brand their business or women in general? Who do you work with the most? Uh, the most both categories so uh, I okay op I often work with uh, actually coaches and uh, people who want to develop their business and develop their personal brand but I also work with women who just want to have image that represents themselves yes. okay and I remember a little while back you told me that you were uh, doing some personal shopping with uh, uh, someone that you had met up with them and they needed a new wardrobe and new things and you actually went with them to help yeah. them uh, select what they needed. Is this something that you do? Um, of course, it's more if we're near you unless you want to come and visit here. <laughs> of course I want. <laughs> I will come one day, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that would be great. That would be great. Yeah, we'll meet <laughs> Yes, in person, live. That would be wonderful. Yeah. So you do offer personal uh, shopping if someone is um, in need of that. Yeah. Personal shopping, uh, uh, it could be physical. I mean, we go with a person and we go shopping with a person, but it could be online as well. Oh, so that is so wonderful. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, of course, I work I work with the person on the, uh, on their needs, what the, what what it what it is they want, on their okay. style. So uh, there is uh, some time of preparation of uh, the shopping because I, I want sh I want to shopping for a person uh, 
just uh, just like this. So I uh, I need to know it personally a little bit. And okay. uh, based uh, based on the needs of the person, uh, based on their sizes, of course. Yes. Uh, yeah, I can do personal shopping uh, online. That's yeah. perfect. That's wonderful. Okay, so tell uh, everyone if they wanted to get in contact with you. Um, what is the best way to reach you? Of course, they can go through this site, but if they wanted to check out your website or your page or get in contact with you directly, can you give us that information? And what we'll do, ladies, is we'll post it in the comments and we'll tag it to this, uh, to this video as well so you have access to it. Yeah, okay. So if you have any question, ladies, uh, just contact me via messenger and i will answer your questions uh you can also book um, a free discovery call with me uh, that will be my pleasure you can go to my website anastasiastyle.com so of course we will put that uh, put uh, this in the comments and i have also okay. a facebook page so please go to see hi my Facebook page and an English speaking uh, group where we share how to have authentic style. Yes, and ladies, Anastasia, it does speak French very well. So if you prefer to work with her in French, you can absolutely uh, reach out to her and do that as well. Yeah, I forgot to tell this. Yeah, so I live in France. With it's okay. French and English and <laughs> Russian. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yes, I do have uh, several Russian friends. Uh, so if anybody wants to reach out to you in French, in English, or in Russian, um, they'll be well served. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Awesome. So I want to thank you very much for taking time out to come and explain to us all the, the importance of our style of knowing who we are and who we want to uh, become setting our intentions with colors and I want to thank you all ladies for joining us as well uh, remember if you have any questions just post them even if you're catching the replay remember to tag us to make sure it doesn't get lost in the news feed and um, um, thank you very much Anastasia again for being with us and I guess we will see all of each other very soon in the group so I'm wishing everyone and you as well, Anastasia, a wonderful afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Isabel. It's my pleasure. Okay, see yes. you soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye.